We, uh, my family, my father, my grandfather had all been uh, scientists. My grandfather first arrived here in 1918, and uh, my father was at, uh, at Yale University when I was born, and uh, we came here so for research work at the lab, and uh, needless to say, I came along too. That would be 1948. What I remember first, which interested me, you might say, was uh, we would arrive and other people would arrive from all around the country. And I had a friend through the woods uh, about a half a block away. And the, the first thing I would do would be sort of uh, give a Canada goose honk to see if my friend had arrived yet. And he would give me one back and we would know that we were both in Woods Hole for the summer. And every family, it seemed, had a, a wooden boat, a small skiff, just such as some of the ones down here are very, very similar. I have a boat almost identical to the very first boat our family ever had. I brought it with me from North Carolina. And, uh, but those boats were all wooden, so as a child, the first thing I wanted to do, and most of the other kids, as far as I know, they wanted to get that boat out and get to work on it so we could go cruising, fishing, beaching, and all those things. And uh, I distinctly remember, and there used to be a picture of me on the bottom of the boat, sanding away when I was eight or ten years old uh, in preparation for the summer boating season. First, the first year I was allowed in the boat, uh, by myself, I had to just motor around Eel Pond, and the son of the uh, uh, of the general manager, Dick Smith. I don't know if the, if he if his father and my father collaborated or not, but the two of us had our boats, and we uh, terrorized Eel Pond for a summer before we were allowed out under the bridge. At ten years old, I think we were just running around the, all over town on our bicycles and such. That's probably where I got my little nickname, perhaps. Uh, and uh, if you had a problem, you could always go to the lab. And if you couldn't find your parent, somebody else was there. Your friend's parent was there. And, uh, and there were occasions when uh, I had a little accident with my boat and uh, I was basically in tears and, and came back to the lab and, uh, you know, somebody helped me get a phone and call home. And, and uh, that's just the way it was. In the 50s, uh, a trip to Woods Hole was a big deal because there was no I-95. And we lived in Tallahassee, Florida, which is, was uh, a long way, well, still a long way, <laughs> but it's gotten shorter thanks to the roads. But uh, it was a big production, and, and we brought our own, my father brought his own microscopes, whether he needed to or not, but uh, I distinctly remember we would pack the car just absolutely full of, of stuff for the lab. and. Uh, uh, and it was, uh, it was like three days plus to get here from there in those days. Well, when I was a, when I was a really small, I went out on the, on the Nereus, which was one of the collecting boats. There was the Dolphin, the Nereus, and the Arbatia. And the Sagitta and the Tern were two smaller boats. And uh, uh, on a number of occasions, I went out on, on the, uh, the Dolphin and the Nereus. Went out on the Nereus with, uh, with John Valois' brother. Well, I, I was a, in the summer, I was a, a watchman, night watchman. And strangely enough, I liked that job better than any of the others 
maybe because I was my own boss. But uh, Willie Lockhead and I shared the, the job of uh, Night Watchman. And there were, there were some other kids too. I mean, uh, not necessarily kids, but there were some other people that, that uh, did that job too. But uh, something about walking around the lab at uh, 2.30 in the morning and there's nobody here but you. And uh, it's uh, sort of fun. I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed looking after the lab. There was, there's, uh, the lab was like our home. Very much, very strong feeling about, about that, that the, that the lab was like your home. When, when the watchman is on, you go up on the, you take the flag in at night, which is, is okay, but it's night, and well, you might get a sunset out of that, but uh, in the morning, when the sun comes up over, over uh, from there, it comes up over uh, Juniper Point, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, and uh, there's a dip in Juniper Point there, and the sun would come r right up over that, and it's just fabulous. father once said that one of the great things about being in Woods Hole and at the, and at the lab was uh, you could walk through the parking lot and, and meet people from all over the world and strike up a conversation and, and exchange uh, ideas uh, in a way that uh, the rest of the year uh, it would be impossible to get hold of these people. I think this. I think it's the water, and the uh, the islands for me. Uh, there was growing up. There was a, a teen center over by the drawbridge, down under the. Uh, I forget the the name of the building there. The church right by the drawbridge. Down below was a teen center where kids, uh, all the scientists' kids, and and some town people, some children. Uh, they all hung out, and. Uh, played pool and cards and whatever, but that really, for me, I'd rather be out on the water. I was on the water all the time. Uh, striped bass fishing was a sort of, uh, that's all I really wanted to do was go. And, and I, knew, I knew every rock from Woods Hole to Cuddy Hunk, because I'd hit them all. That's, that's, the, that's the standard line. Hurricane Carol in 1954 was a singular moment. The, uh, I was only, my birthday's in October, so it was in 54, so I was really only five years old, five and a half, you know. And I don't know if people knew the storm was coming or not, you know, weather reporting and all that was not so hot back then. And that storm, uh, flooded the MBL, people were canoeing, you must have probably heard this from people, but people were canoeing around the basement of the MBL and all, all around because the whole, the whole part, the whole town was underwater. I remember seeing a red a, a canoe uh, going past the, uh, when you come in the, in the bottom of the building there by the uh, elevator or where the elevator used to, it's still there, just not the right one. Uh, seeing a, a red canoe go, go paddling by down toward the machine shop or where the machine shop used to be. That was, that was pretty amazing. But as for uh, singular moments, it's, uh, it's hard to... Uh, it was just a pleasure to be here, always.